Here we are, back in Star Citizen. Only this time, there's a small difference. Last time we talked about the 3.0 being resembling to me uh, a kind of the three is like a in the shape of a pair of buttocks. The point itself is in the shape of a small turd, and and the O represents a toilet bowl, ready to receive that turd. That's how that's how 3.0 seemed to me. It seemed like nothing but buttocks and turd and toilet bowl. But now I, I see a whole new picture. I see the three as a double rainbow. I see the point as a ship emerging from that double rainbow and flying towards Daymar. Yes, ladies and germs, it's true. Chris is here. He's dancing his socks off, ladies and germs. He's excited, as excited as I am. Probably not as excited as I am, because today, sheeps and peeps, we're about to enter the wonderful world of 3.0. I've been fooling around in my email. I didn't know what was going on. I looked here. I looked hither and thither. I looked hither from yonder, and all I could see was that refusal after refusal. Then, after a while, after searching, after talking to my buddies on the WHP forums and on Discord, I realised, to my, to my joy, that I'd been allowed in. Now, the game has crashed four times so far, even before I've gotten out of bed. So let's just, let's just see how we get on, shall we? Welcome to Star Citizen. What's happening? He's waking. The man is waking. He sees the orange blanket beneath him and he thinks, oh, this is a fruity bed. I feel like a Satsuma in my new green skin tight outfit. I feel like a runner bean emerging from a Satsuma, which is a sight to behold. Look, the rail is there. We know it's there for our own safety. We can hold on to it. But what's this? There's a slight difference. Look at that. The door does not open as soon as you stand up. Imagine that, you climb out of bed in your skivvies. The door slides open, revealing your nether regions to the entire verse. This is, doesn't happen anymore. This is 3.0, ladies and germs. The rail is there for safety. We know that. We look down, we see a till roll. Or is it a toilet roll? We don't know. And ahead of us is the beckoning, the calling that is system 2.0. As we reach for the F. We can simply open the door. <gasps> I'm so excited, I'm not even going to take a bet on what room I'm in. I reckon I'm in... Oh! I reckon that I'm in room number one. We turn around. We're in room number eight. Was that somebody in our bed? Did you see that? Was that my imagination? I'm going to have to watch that back. I've, I've, I've left the room and I've left myself in bed. Is this a dream? Am I just dreaming? I'm actually in 2.6.3.9.7. .3 dreaming that I'm in 3.0. What's happening? Some bozo walking door. Look, I can slow myself down and speed myself up with just the spin of a mouse wheel. Look at this guy nonchalantly walking past me. I'm going to see if I can go for the salute. Let's give it a go, shall we? He's checking his Moby. Look at the frames. Not too bad, would you say? Not too bad at all. It's funny, because he's got exactly the same face as I've got, as I'm about to show you. This is how I look in the verse, ladies and germs. This is how I look. Look at this. I'm turning my back on myself. Now, what is a familiar face? Look at me, looking at my future self. One day, I'll be able to afford the armour that I'm now wearing as I run off into the distance in a fairly erratic manner. Now look, there's going to be crashes, all right? There's going to be bugs. I swear, by this big Benny's machine, but I will persevere anyway, for your entertainment. Here we go. Now look, I'm ambling along, you see, because I've got the mouse wheel controlling my... What the? Hey! Who's this, who's this character lurking? Lurking in the hallway. Positioning himself exactly at the apex of the pillar. Staring directly at the other apex of the other pillar. 
I feel like, if I enter this corner. A wrestling match may ensue, ladies and germs. Shall we try? Hey, buddy. Back up a bit. What do you reckon? Let's try him on full power, shall we? Look at this. Look at this. What'd you say, buddy? Oh, I could have crashed the game already. The frames have died, ladies and germs. Look at this. The spinning wheel of death. Never run towards a man who's standing at the apex of the corner of a Star Citizen universe. Never, never threaten a man by entering the opposite corner. Okay, here we go. Error dislocation code. No, disconnection code. 30,000. Well, there's a lot of 3.0s in that, isn't there? The connection is lost. Connection to the server is lost unexpectedly. Well, somebody expected it. But they released the game anyway. If the problem persists, please check the internet connection. That's right, pass the buck. Right, let's check this out again, shall we? Region EU, should we... Let's check it again. Should we go in again? Give it another try. I think we should. I'm determined to do this for you. It's now, what, it's 10 to 11 here in the UK. I'm drinking coffee. Any way to get through it, I think. Now listen, I've changed my settings slightly, just so I've had a little bit of bother on YouTube with the old copyright. You know, I've been I've been hassled by various members of the musical community, and I'm sure, not by them personally, but by the people that own their music, telling me that I can no longer play what I want. I'm playing some various uh, royalty-free ambient stuff at the moment, which I hope you enjoy, but I am a little bit, how shall I say, Sad and angry at the same time. I'm sangry. Ladies and germs, I'm very sangry. Because, you know, I, I really love a bit of Nightmares on Wax. I absolutely love it. Man's a genius. I've been following that man. I bought... I bought those 12 inches back in the day. Do you know what I mean? I've been following him ever since. I'm a fan. I play his music, I understand how it works, copyright, you don't want, you know, but look, he's missing out. There's at least 14 people have watched this channel. That's 14 people that have not been exposed to his music. That may, he may have lost 14 members of his future audience, ladies and germs, by not allowing me to play his music in the stream. He's potentially lost a fortnight's worth of customers. That's all I can say, the man's a fool. Right, I like his music, but I'm a bit hurt. I feel like I've been betrayed by a long lost friend it's kind of capitalization well what can we say makes me sad will the game load though that's the question I'll tell you what I might do I might try out my new um, let's just give this a little go shall we you never know this might work yeah well it works not quite how I wanted it to work but it definitely works all right, let's try this, and then let's try this. Give you a little bit of the time, we'll just keep it going. The game just not loading, is it? It's not happening. It's just not happening. All we can hear is the familiar tune. I always think this sounds like Lord of the Rings, this. Da, 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 da. Na, na, na. I imagine Frodo getting out of bed when I hear this. Frodo gazing at Sam, bending over the petunias, thinking, <gasps> Hobbit women are so ugly. Right. What to do in a tiny canoe, ladies and germs? Um, let's try a little bit of something else, shall we? Just see what we've got here. Let's go back to Chris dancing ma mindlessly on our faces as we try to enter the world of 3.0. It could be because I'm streaming. I had a very good time last night. I made it all the way to Daymar only to crash as I pulled my rifle. I did actually make it all the way to Daymar. I was very excited. I first downloaded the game after much shenanigan around, uh, if that's a verb. It is now, and I, <laughs> since the release of 3.0, shenaniganing has become a verb. Uh, basically, I 
twerked around on my keyboard until I finally realised what I was doing wrong. Uh, my drivers weren't updated, so if anyone's watching, I've got a 1080 in here, and just make sure you've got the best drivers. When I first dropped into the PTU, I was um, dismayed to see the frame rate was about <laughs> three frames per second, which was irksome. And then I uh, I got my drivers sorted out, had a little bit more help uh, from a few people on the WHP Discord, and managed to get myself back in the game and had quite a smooth experience. I wouldn't say the frames were like butter, more like a weak old mayonnaise, a few lumps here and there. But yeah, it was alright, you know, it was alright. I was, I was quite happy. I got into my ship, jumped into the Cutlass Black, had a few problems navigating the controls. Still haven't set up my joysticks correctly. Everything's been reset back to the original standard. Right, we're going to go for a complete restart here because this is just not happening. So let's just let's just see if I can do that. Um, let me just get myself together here. Let's get ourselves back. Come on, help me. Help me to get out of this mayhem of my own creation. Absolutely, absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. I knew this would happen. You have to stand on me, ladies and germs. Oh, hello. Looks like we're back in. Looks like we are back in. I'm going to drop you back in now. Here we are. Welcome to Star Citizen. Once again, almost, almost like a, a heady dream, a deja vu of epic proportions, a David Vu. We look around us, everything's slightly blurry, frames aren't as good. We're in a, a different kind of server, in a different kind of room. What was once a toilet roll, ladies and gentlemen, is now a tub of Big Benny's half eaten and a copy of Horizon magazine. You can believe such a thing. The rail is still there in case we need to hang on. I think I may need to. These frames really, really don't feel that good, I have to say. Let's open the door. Let's... Yeah, this is going to be sticky. Alright, here we are. Let's just check the number. I was, I was so certain! I was so certain that it wasn't one. I, I knew I should have said it. Right, well it looks like we've got some sticky frames here. Now listen son, you've caused me all... Hello. Look at this. There's a fella stood in exactly the same position, but it's a different fella. Some kind of cult. The Apex Cult. Soon to be known as simply The Cult. Well, I really, really don't understand this. The frames aren't that good though, I have to say. We'll persevere with it, shall we? We'll see how far we get, because this gubbins, you've seen already. Let's just get on with it. Now you can see there's AI everywhere. There they are, like uh, fine British workmen, standing around, doing nothing. Let's just get in here. Now what we have here is a yellow and purple display, which I actually don't feel is as good as the other display. We'll give it a we'll give it a go. As you can see, everything's slightly pantsy. Yes, and give me the thing that I want. There we are. Let's just whiz down here. Go as fast as we can so as not to waste your valuable time. What I'm gonna do is track that. I don't know what that does. I wish I hadn't pressed it now, because it looks like I can't... I actually want to retrieve it, not track it. Alright, 
Let's take the Herald instead. The Herald might be good actually because it's a bit quick, isn't it? Don't be messing around. Now I've had a few crashes around the terminals. I've also had some crashes like just getting out onto the pads looking at the ships. Like a I'm like a I don't know, I'm like a emotional girl having her first period. As soon as I get onto the pads. Oh hello. Right, as soon as I get onto the pads, I have a complete crash, I was gonna say. They're joking, very poor taste, right? Just give me the number. Give me the number. I'd like the number. Please. I appreciate the echo that you put in your voice. That's happened to me quite a few times as well, that... Hmm. Or consider finding alternative means of transport. Very nice. Very nice. Nice little, nice little joke there, Roberts. I don't appreciate it. I want my ship. Now, I'm assuming we've got access to all ships in this test. Oh, hello. That's interesting. So that's never happened before. They tell you you can't, then they tell you you can. What was it, number two? That doesn't bode well, does it? I've got a number two pad. Have they? All right, yes, it's one of those... Suffering from Stockholm syndrome. Now, I'm very welcome. Now I can't, can't leave. Oh, thank you. So look, we've got a slight delay. Obviously, the server's not behaving itself that well. I have to say, we'll go this way, not to four. I've got a couple of weapons on me. I'm not really sure what's going on with that. We're going to go unprepared into this good night. There we are, and that's a bit odd as well. That didn't quite work. This seems like a very jittery server, ladies and germs. Very jittery indeed. Just adjust this camera slightly. There we are. Okay. It is actually cycling as we speak, but I'm not sure if that's supposed to happen or not. Do you know what I miss? I miss the, the reference to, what's his name? Edvard Munch. The guy with the helmet. Oh, hello. No! Thank you. Right, here we go. Come on now. Here we go. Up the apples and pears, remember. Oh! No running in the hallway. Look at that. Heart rate's 57 already. There she is, the Herald. I've never seen the back end of a Herald from the top of the stairs before. We're about to find out if my joystick has actually got the correct settings. Now, I don't know about you, but there's a certain problem with the glass. It's not the reflectivity of the glass isn't quite up to my standards, but hey, I, I'm not complaining. Alright, what I need is an open sesame here. I really do like this point-and-shoot system. I really like it, but it's obviously at the moment in development. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm yawning from excitement. Right, here we go. I want to enter the ship, yeah, that's what I want to do. Please allow me to do so. Should we try that again? Let's try it. It's all a little bit delayed, I have to say. I'm wondering if now I'm going to get... It's like the commands are being sent over the server in a kind of delayed manner. Yeah, here we go. Alright, just to note that hasn't happened to me before. Let's just get in here, find the button of my choosing. Could it be that I need to do this? Or maybe now they've moved it so it goes back to the doorway. Yes, this, this could be the thing. Yeah, now it's here. 
Okay, fine. So this is the Herald. The other thing about the Herald is that it has got a bed, which it looks like. Is it operational though? That's the question. Anyway, look, let's not dally. Um, let's not dally with the sheets. Let's see if we can get into the seats. I always want to kind of go and press the actual text, and that's obviously not the thing to do. All right, let's see how this this goes. Obviously, I've got to turn the ship on, which is something that I'm not used to yet. Flight ready is what I want, isn't it? Sorry, I'm being very clunky here, ladies and gents, but I am trying to be careful. In about five, four, three, two, one. I hear the noise, I see no difference. Something has occurred. The rings of Odysseus spin mindlessly like a madman's wheel in the windmills of your mind. But the ship refuses to turn on. <laughs> I put the keys in it and turned, nothing happened. I don't know what's going on. Hello? Yes. Chris, I'm going to be late for work. Well, where are you? Well, I'm, I'm stuck at Olisar. You're still at Olisar? Yes, I know. Reprehensible. Right, here we go. Ship start up using interaction mode F. Yes, I'm doing that. I'll have you. I'll interact mode F you in a minute, mate. Right, here we go. Yes, that's good, isn't it? Come on, baby. Come on, you can help me. You can help me. You can do this. Duffy Moon. Anyone who remembers that, I take my hat off to you. I've had a few people enter the chat, look, and they've all left immediately when they've seen what this, what, a, what a state I'm in. Call this 3.0, or I can get more 3.0 by looking at 2.6.8.3.9. I'm very, very upset that I can't turn this ship on, so I'm going to go Alt F because. As the IT man said to the bishop, have you tried turning it off, turning it back on again? Alright, here we go. Let's ramp up the pressure. No, I can't even get into the seat. I'll tell you what, it's never been this bad. I've had quite a good run yesterday and I was feeling quite confident that I could get myself into a position where, whereby I wasn't going to have a fit standing in front of the pilot seat. Lovely looking ship though. Do I understand what I'm trying to tell you? Yes, I understand what you're trying to tell me. You're trying to tell me that the game is not quite there yet. But I'm not I'm not angry with you. Look, I put my hands up. Look at me. Do I look unhappy? No. I'm happy go that far. Right, okay, now, let's see what we can do. There we go, look, flight ready. Five, four, three, two, and a one. Right, well, alright, if it won't turn on, there's not a lot I can do. Let's take another ship, that's all I can say. Can't even get out of the seat now. I think we're looking at a crash here, people. I've been delicate, I've been kind, I've been like a gentle lover, stroking in all the right areas. But now I'm leaving, darling. I won't be coming back this way anytime soon. Open at the exterior, yes. I tried to reveal myself to you, love, but you didn't want to know. Let's see if we can get... No, 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 not too fast now. Remember your heart rate. And what the doctor told you about running across strange tarmac in the middle of space. Oh, look at that shadow, that was cute, wasn't it? Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> I can't tell you how much that amuses me to see my, the shadow of my own virtual self falling across a doorway in the middle of nowhere, in something that doesn't exist. Right, okay. 
3.0, I salute you. You've beaten me again. You're a worthy opponent. I'm going the wrong bleeding way here. Right, okay, let's <laughs> tracking back. Tracking back. Follow the signs, love. Follow the signs. Let's not go too fast here now. Let's just take a nice leisurely stroll through 3.0 as we head back to the terminals to try to discover what went wrong. Recycling. Are we cycling? Can we get back in? Come on, let me back in. That's a good that's a good one. Alright, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hop out of this entire server actually is what I'm gonna do. Hop back in. Because I'm determined to get a good little run here. What better place to do that than in the airlock? Let's just do this. Exit to menu. Yes. What we should do is we shall try endeavour I say to to give you guys a better deal. Cause we all like a nice deal, don't we? Oh you don't get many of those to the pound. The question is on everybody's lips, does Dr. Pepper's arm eat Cox's apples? And we're about to find out as we press forwards. I'm in the EU server, not something I normally do. I like to hang out with the USA. But today, I'm sticking with my, well, soon to be severed arm, and I will go back in here and see if we can get a better deal on the server. Alright. We are looking now into the blackness. What we'll do, ladies and germs, is we'll just do a little bit of Chris, Chris, how you doing, Chris? Chris, what's that step you're doing, Chris? I've never seen anything like it. What is it? The bop? Are you doing the Dallas smoke? Some kind of northern soul move? What are you doing? Are you sidestepping? You're doing the crab. You're doing the shimmy. Who knows what he's doing? He's doing the mashed potato. Game is running. There's an error. Disconnection error. Okay. Just relaying you the information as it happens. Let's try again to visit that spaceport. It's no longer the sound of entry, is it? Chris! Chris in the multitude! Chris! The multitudes of Chris dancing crab like across the screen as we wait for his wonderful game to load. We are reminded that Chris is everywhere. That's where you think it's safe to go back to the dance floor. Chris is there. I watched the stream um, a couple of days ago, Sunday night, I think it was, or Sunday afternoon, I can't remember. Uh, oh no, error disconnection code. Oh no, am I in? Am I out? What's happening? Nope, it's not happening. Right, so we're going to go back. We're going to quit this game and we're going to start all over again. Apologies, ladies and gentlemen, but I'm determined. <laughs> I am determined to get into this game. It kills me. All right, all right. Somebody else kills me. I'm keeping them awake. Right, I'm updating. So every time there's a crash, you have to verify. Which is, um, I assume, some sort of verification process. Because I don't really know what it's for. But I assume it's some way for them to log. Uh, another way for them to log the crash, maybe. Or it's a Delta Patcher is doing a quick sort of check of files, maybe. Make sure everything's in order. Right, we're just looking at the lumberyard screen now. Going to black. We are trying our utmost, and we're straight into that part. That bit doesn't take very long at all. I'm going to give you a little bit of a better view of this now. This process. Um, all right, welcome to Star Citizen 3.0, take three, ironically. <laughs> see the beautiful loading screen 
There's a couple of live action things going on here. There's a couple of guys here. You can't see them because my ugly head's in the way. A couple of guys here fixing the tyres on a Rover. Going, yep, that's that done. Fix that. What's Clive doing over there? Clive, are you joining us? We need you, man. It's a three-man job, fixing one tyre on a Rover. Yeah, yeah, um, I'm just... Um, just just looking in the in the box here. Just I well, hope they don't realise I hate fixing tires. I thought I'd come over here and try and just pretend I was looking in this box. If I just squat down, I can pretend that I'm looking for something. Yeah, I'll be there in a minute, guys. Oh, I just can't find that wrench. We know your game, Clive. We know you're a skyver. Right, let's see if we can get into this game. Stop wittering on about Clive. God's sake. There's people here who want to see 3.0. And I'm one of them. <laughs> Right, what can we say? All we can say is that any minute now there's going to be a crash, but we don't know when it's going to come. And hey, by the way, I am not complaining. This is an early access game. This is not even... This This is a persistent test universe. This is a test, alright? And there we are. We've got an error disconnection code, which I think should take us back to this screen, yes. And as long as we haven't got a bad token here, we're, we are free to try again. Now, I've heard of people spending, you know, hours trying to get into game. I actually, I actually had a really easy time of it yesterday, I must say, which is why I have the confidence to bore the pants off you today. Because I actually believe that we will get in. I could be wrong, of course. I've just got to check my stats here on this other device. Um, yep, that all sounds all good. Where are we now? We're still in the black. I'm just going to relieve you of the boredom of that. Just to put you back into Chris's hands. Chris, your game's late, mate. Can you go on? And just felt what? What do you mean? <laughs> uh, Chris, look, stop giggling, all right? Go on stage now and fill. Like, can you do it? We've got some mirrors to make it look like there's more of you than there are. If you just go on and do a bit of a side step, we've got we can use smoke and mirrors, and we can make it look as if there's loads of you. What do you reckon, Chris? Oh, all right, I'll give it a go, like. Oh, hello, we're in. Lord above. All right. Here we are. Welcome. Some barks and giggles. They can't start six. We're getting out of bed. Let's see how far we can get this time, people. I just You can tell from the first few seconds how good the frames are. And we'll have a go. As soon as he stands up and we've got a free look, we shall see. Yes, yes, this looks a lot better, I have to say. Right, remember, Lods. You won't forget the Lods. Got a case of the Lods. Right, I'm genuinely excited and I'm in pod 3. Pod 14! Wrong by 11. 1 and 1 is 2. I'm only wrong by 2. Let's go down here now. Let's not go too fast. That tends to not help. Okay, but these frames are much better, aren't they? What's this? Aegis. Oh, yeah. Nasty Aegis in my lods. Right, remember, as we come down the stairs, there's no running in the hallway. I'm just going to check out this bozo. <laughs> Look at your stupid green suit, mate. Oh. Oh, damn. I've also got one of those. Another workman. Hard at it. How is it? What's it like being an AI? Uh, yeah, I see. I see, mate. All right, okay. Okay, let's let's just get down here now. I'm not going to dally with that screen. This, this is not too bad, is it, boys and girls? Look at this. Peeps and cheeps. I think these frames are considerably better. Pips. Pips on the terminal. What do you think this is? A DOS house? Oh. 
This is looking a lot better, isn't it, ladies and germs? A lot better indeed. Right, OK. I'm going to take, not to the caterpillar, but I'm simply... I, I, I literally can't believe that that is still tracked. What does that even mean? Does that mean I'm not able to get that ship? Is that what that means? I can't believe that I've done that. I actually, that's the actual ship I want to take. I'm not taking in that Herald again. Alright, let's take... Oh, boys and girls. Should we take... Come on. Come on. Your ship has been delivered to the following landing pad. <laughs> we deserve the best, don't we, ladies and gents? We, we deserve the best. It's pad one. And we're trying to take the gold digger, the prospector. The ship they, they wrote home about when they broke that ship they made the mould no sorry when they made that ship they broke the mould yes mate it's O R I G I N or or Oregon yes very good Johnny we'll be back tomorrow with another post of future read right okay let's go this way I'm, I'm assuming I've still got my weapons. I'm so excited to see the prospects where I can't even breathe in this actor status system. It restricts my every movement. Now that was a little bit more responsive, wasn't it? That's better. And actually, there's sound effects to accompany the cycling of the airlock, so we'll just give that a little twinkle. One, two... Yeah, that's much better. Alright, so there seems to be a better response time on this server. And we'll see what happens as we we'll go up to 58 beats per minute. Ramping it up to 61 as we hit the stairs. And let's just take a look, little look here at the beautiful perspective. Look at that. A rather truncated looking constellation. Something or other. Heading off into the distance there. What's that? Another constellation? Looks like it's a, a, a constellation party this evening. Well, I, d I don't really like to go to prospector parties. I'm more of a constellation party sort of a guy. Now, I don't even know where the door is on this thing. So we'll just... It we'll just gives me a kick every time I see that shadow. That's funny. The shadow of a man is not even there. Right, how do we get in? There's the door, he says. Hopefully. Please open. It's flashing. It's turned yellow. Like a banana on heat. Right, there's the doorway. It turns yellow. The slightest touch. Oh, baby, I want to enter the ship. I want to enter this ship. Right, this is a bit more responsive. Down comes my ladder, and on I go. Ladies and germs, we're off to Daymar. I can't believe it. I'm so excited. Yep, okay, I'm moving out of the way of that doorway. Okay, here I am. This is my very basic bed that I've got as a miner. I don't need much. I'm covered in grime most of the time. It doesn't bother me. I sleep underneath a shield generator because that's what makes me feel safe. Let's head on back. Whip us up a cup of something hot as we go this way. Please let me get into the seat. Don't give me any jib. That's not happening. Let's try this way. Now, I did hear that these are very difficult to fly, these things. Which I'm hoping is not the case, because, as you know, ladies and germs, uh, my piloting skills are absolutely terrible. I can't seem to get in the seat now. Oh, what? What fun! What fun they have in early access! Alright, let's see. Look at the screen on this. Oh, look at that. Isn't that a lovely looking curve? That. The design of that is really... Really floats my boat. And I'm a man who likes to go by car. Which is saying a lot. 
Usually I'm on a bicycle, dreaming of having roller skates. But every time I see a man on a surfboard, I think, one day I'll buy a yacht. Don't really know what that means, except that my table's covered in fluff. And there's nothing you can do about it. Fluffy the table, welcome. My four-legged friend, meow, I'm Fluffy the table. But I still can't get into the seat. Ah, oh, jeez Louise, right, okay. Let's just... I am, am welcome to MISC. How may I help you today? You can help me by letting me get in the bleeding seat. You automated... doofus. Please, just let me get in. I just want to get in. Ah. Let's try standing behind it. Let's take this, this approach. The rear view. I'll tell you what, people. This level of buggage is really... It's a, it's a real bugger. Wouldn't you say, Sir Anthony? Oh, yes. I can remember back in the day. Back in, back in 1.8. There was none of this messing around. We just straight in the bloody seat. Went off. Killed some vandal. Bloody marvellous it was. Bloody vandal blood squirting everywhere. It's completely purple, you know. Well, thank you, Anthony. We'll come back to you at the expats drinking man's club another evening right now we're trying to climb into the seat of yesteryear what happened to the snowdens of yesteryear oh my god i'm a little bit feeling like i'm in catch 22 right now okay let's let's just take a little look at the ship shall we um there's some nice panels here um there's a few buttons should we see if there's anything worth uh, twiddling with access point, there's the jump drive, there's the gravity generator, can't wait to find out how that works, something that's been sort of, sort of glossed over in the game, the idea of gravity generation, it's quite, quite an ambitious project, I think we've just, let's just assume that by then they will have done it, oh really, how have they done it, oh, well we're not quite sure, something to do with um, Freon and cat hair and they discovered by accident in the year 2897 no wait that's the wrong timeline in 2341 no wait it was 28 no they went back in time and showed themselves the invention therefore it was invented out of nowhere there you go that's the answer like see-through metal in star trek right what the hell's going on here man all right yes again I feel like I failed you. Okay, um, there's only one way we can do this, and that's to abandon, abandon Dick, as they say, when all else fails. Exit ship. I think that's what we're looking at. Darling, don't leave me. Listen, Prospector, I'm off. Do you know why? 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 Why are you leaving me? Because you're nothing. Nothing but a gold digger. Look at this beautiful ship. Why can't I fly this beautiful ship? Is anyone in chat? Does anyone care? There's one, one person watching. Well, listen, whoever you are, all I can say is I really appreciate you, mate. I really appreciate you watching this because I understand how frustrating it must be for you. And there are other more accomplished streamers who can offer far better content and far more slick presentation than I, a mere duffer, plumbing around like a crow pie on a spittle. But what a wonderful looking orifice you have there for a gold digger. You don't knock off a nice sucker. I'll tell you what though, look at the sleeking, look at the shine on this sleek beast. Look at this. The retractable garbage containers on the side. This really is. I actually own one of these in the game. When it comes out, if it ever comes out, if they ever let us get in the seats. But isn't that beautiful? I'm not complaining. I will get you to Daymar by hook or by crook. Let's ramp up the speed a little bit since we've got a bit more of a buttery server. I'm going to head back inside and see if I can order us up. Whip us up a cup of something flyable. 
Jenny, can you head on back? Whip us up a cup of something that flies. Jenny, head on back and whip us up a chair that I can sit in. Well, Captain, I would love to do that. But there isn't such a thing. For this is 3.0. I'm starting to feel like it is a buttock with a turd and a toilet bowl. Oh, look at that. I went straight in. Very nice. Let's try the old cycling. Cycling like a Michael. Whoa. Let's just take a little look at the Moby. Something that we haven't done for a while. Crime stat is clean. Spent a bit of money. I've actually got a ship. Uh, somewhere. Now, where is that ship? I actually took the Cutlass Black and I flew it to Daymar. And that is something that I might be... I wonder if I could retrieve that. I wonder if it's even there. No, there's no way it would be there. That's ridiculous. That's a ridiculous thought, man. Let's have a look at this. Clothing. Got all this really generic stuff. Hat. Empty. How dare you? What are you trying to say? My hat's empty. You're calling me an airhead. Undersuit. Undersuit. Odyssey flight suit. Armour. Nothing there. Miscellaneous. What we got here? Weapon 1. Arc light energy pistol. Weapon 2. Got the SMG. Weapon 3. I've got the sniper rifle. But I do believe... I need to get weapon attachments. I don't have all my usual gear. Right. Right. Enough dallying. Let's get you people what you want. Get this one viewer something that they can bear to watch. Probably not even watching me. If you are watching me, would you say something? I'd really appreciate that. Just type it in chat if you're watching me on Twitch. What can we take? Do you know what? I'm going to take something that I know reasonably well. I'm going to take a freelancer. For. Right, I've got a better feeling about this. Sweating on the mouse. Like a cat with heart disease. Right. Yeah, I'm going this way, aren't I? Sorry, peeps, I've lost my bearings for a minute. Let's get a bit of a shift on, shall we? I really do like this speed system with the running. It's really good. <laughs> Look at your trousers, mate. What's going on with that? Your trousers had an argument with your shoes. What was happening there? Slide into the side. Look, he's gone to the apex. What is it with the apex? Listen, tell me, are you part of a cult? Do you want to leave? Don't look at your watch, I'm talking to you. What time is it? The time is now, mate. Time to get out of that cult. They made you look like a fool. You're quite buff, though. But anyway, let's let's head on back over here. Lost my bearings now. Oh, here we go. Garrity defence. This is the wrong way. Sunshine. Apex man threw me off. That's the that's the thing, isn't it? They perch there, make you think you he's not supposed to go down there. You lose your bearings, go back the other way before you can come back and see yourself coming through the door. Right, here we are. Item 2.0. Cycle me up a good one. I must say, I don't like the airlock effect as much. I really, really used to appreciate the flashing lights and the steam and the whizzing of the... of the noxious gas as it flummoxed around your lug holes. I really used to enjoy that. That was... Hey, I tell you what, I wonder if they fixed that spinning bug with the... The old Freel. The old Anna Freelancer. 
Come on. I want to enter you. Why are you being like that about it? Just because I went to see the prospector first, is that it? I can't help it. She's a gold digger. What, no audio on the flapping of the opening? Outstanding folding the wetty grippers. Let's see if we can shut the... Yes, I shall shut the door as well. Oh, there we go. Look at this ship. Now, does it look different? It does actually look slightly different. I'm not sure if I like it as much, actually. This cargo webbing. Uh, do I like that? Is that lamp is still there. It's a nasty hue of yellow. It's almost like... I actually don't like that as much. It looks not as well rendered as the other one. I don't know if anyone else is getting that anyway, maybe it's me. Right, I imagine when I go through a freelancer that I'm in a very important, uh, very sort of high-ranking club, and I'm the sort of VIP guest. So I come through here and I go, excuse me, welcome Mr. Downer. Excuse me, welcome Mr. Downer. Nice to see you again, Mr. Downer. I must say, I don't like those doors as much. But this does look rather good, doesn't it? Eh? Very nice. I cannot handle this seat bugging. All right, just let me in. Do you think I'm standing too close to the... to the prospector thing? Yeah, maybe I was, actually. All right, let's see what we've got here, then. Flight ready. Oh baby, that's what we like. Okay. Let's see if we can get ourselves off the paths. Let's see if we can actually do that. Let's just center and stop. Track 55 and stop. All right, are we all right here? Yes, a bit of looming face, but never mind. Sorry about that, people. I'm really sorry about that, people. It's the joystick. It, it, there's, I've got joystick troubles. I think I know what it is as well, actually. I must say, the controls feel really, really different on this ship now than they did before. Let's just take a little gander. Okay. Now we've got engine trails in 3.0. That's something else that we've got, which is new, which I appreciated. The trail of an engine is like a wound in my heart as I streak across the sky. I could write my own name. I was a decent pilot. Unfortunately, I've just spelt the word Dubuvina. All right, here we go. Now, bad piloting is my speciality, but now, what was that? Your hydrogen fuel is low. Ah, oh, that must be for in-atmosphere flight, isn't it? Look at Crusader now! No longer the beige orb hanging in space. Like a an off-cut of carpet roll. Turned into a spherical insult to floor coverings everywhere. It's now a kind of puce, streaky orb. Looks like the back end of a urinal. Yeah, the Working Men's Gout Club of Great Britain. Well, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll give you another view of the freelancer. Let's just give you a nice little press to fire your ship's weapons. Are you crazy? There we are. Look at him flying off. I do like this effect as well. I like the extra particle effects. Uh, it's more like sort of dusty space, I would say. It's very dusty space. So much dust, I couldn't breathe. Oh, well, that's because you're in a vacuum. 
What? <laughs> I thought it was the dust getting in the back of my throat. I wonder why my eyeballs exploded. I thought I was allergic to dust. No, that's vacuum. That's, uh, am I dead now? Yes, you are. Right, now we'll just ease off on the throttle. Now I've got a feeling... Look at that. Look at these engine trails. Look at that. Beautiful stuff. Spinning like a jenny on a wheel. Look at that. Beautiful stuff, eh? Beautiful stuff. And there's the man himself, sitting in the cockpit like a... a numped. Alright, so I'm heading off into the blackness. That is... something or other. 3.0. There's the man himself! With Olisar in the background. Let's kill the engines. Put it in neutral. Now what I don't have is a heads-up display, which I'm a bit upset about, so I'm going to Alt F, just hop out, and then I'm going to hop back in, because what I actually want to do is get that back. Thank you. So that seems to be a little bit of a bug that we can't do anything about. I just want to make sure that my thrusting is alright, yes. Let's just head towards Crusader for a second. Just while we ease off. Just gonna have a look at the old Moby. I'm gonna look at the star map. And we're just gonna zoom right out here. Now we want to go to Daymar, so let's get to Daymar. Let's set as destination. And hopefully uh, we should... Oops, I'm not quite sure how this works yet, but I think now Daymar, if I go to B, Quantum Drive, Daymar should be somewhere on my radar. Look, there it is there. There's Daymar. 42,000 kilometres. Let's see how fast we can get there, shall we? And what I'm going to do is, because my joystick's not set up properly... Come on! Trying to get a plum inside a square! What are you? A numpty? Now I've pressed the quantum travel button. Quantum travel. And here we go. <laughs> Ladies and germs, he streaks! through the atmosphere. There he is, look. Oh, wrong every time. I've got somebody on my tail, who's that? I can hear someone. Right, so let's Dunlow Ridge, perhaps. Let's try to get to Dunlow Ridge Emergency Shelter, shall we? Let's try that. Now, they've, they've ramped up the SCM. Look at me go. Past the speed. An origin ship. They're just about there, and I'm past the speed. A Herald, just about there. And now I'm in unknown territory, ladies and germs. 957, 970, 980, 1004. 1004. As he, as he plummets like a baby bird thrown from the nest towards the Dunlow Ridge Emergency Shelter. That's where we're headed today. Let's see what we can find. There's Bountiful Harvest Hydroponics over that way. That's actually closer. I think what we might do is just take ourselves, I call mining. I think what we might do. Let's just shunt ourselves over to the side here. In the Ark Star Mac with home. No, thank you. I'd rather not bother. Let's just get ourselves lined up with this bountiful hydroponics business. Now, I'm not sure how this works, ladies and germs, alright? I have to be honest. Uh, I don't have to be, actually. I could lie and say, I'll tell you what, I'll lie. I know exactly how this works, ladies and gentlemen. What you do is you thrust forward, 
up to 1004 and then you just have a cup of tea. Feel the power, feel the engine roar between your thighs. Wonderful stuff. We've hit 1004, there's nothing else we can do except wait as we go 443, 442, 441. All right. Now, I think this is how it's done. I'm not sure if there's a way of doing this. What I'll do to avoid any confusion is I will go back to the star map. I will try and zoom in on Daymar here. Kovalex is there. Bountiful Harvest, that's me there. Look at that. Isn't that incredible? Look at that. Look at that. It's actually tracking me on the map. Look at that. <laughs> I'm impressed by that, I must say. I'm a bit of a nerd when it comes to diagrams. <laughs> that is unbelievably good. Alright, so apparently we're heading down to this business here. We can zoom right in like this. And we can see where we are. We're now about 380 kilometers from the surface. Coming in. That is absolutely wonderful. This is not where we're headed, by the way. We're headed somewhere else, but that is absolutely to my position. Yeah, okay, fair enough. It zooms you right out. I can zoom right in and see myself though. I am I'm slightly blown away by that, but okay, let's not get too excited. Yeah, oh we are going there. That's where we're headed. Now, if I'm not mistaken, if I just there we go. Doesn't seem to affect my cruise mode, as it's now known. Tandem Plains, so that's Tamden. Tamden Plains Emergency Shelter. That sounds like a Wally Range Drug Rehab Centre. Hey, I'm going to Tamden Plains. Thompson Plains Emergency Shelter. Yeah, hello. Thompson Plains Emergency Shelter. I'm looking for our Darren. Have you seen him? No, I'm afraid he's not here. This is a private residence. Please don't call again. All right. Come on. Where are you? I must say, I'm impressed by that. Look at this. The fact that this is. Uh, we're at Daymar. I'm so excited. My God, we've made it. We've made it to Daymar. It's amazing. Now, this is when... I don't know if I can get out of the ship here. I mean, not out of the ship. That would be foolish. I, I'm not sure if we can get out of the... out of the seat and wander around. They do say that this is the sort of time that you should... Uh, you should reserve this time as time when you would sort of, you know, check your systems... Uh, replace your nerve thrusters and check your oscillations check the amplitude of your velocity on your thrustle widget while you're heading towards while you're in this sort of cruise mode or while you're in quantum travel if it takes you eight minutes actually in that demo it took did it take eight minutes to go from look at my face you can hardly see me did it take eight minutes to go from Levski to Daymar, and yet it's only taken us, what, not 30 seconds, 40 seconds to go from Olisar to Daymar, so, I mean, yeah, from that I deduce that it's closer, but uh, obviously, but I'm just thinking, where are these long times that we, we talked about? Look at this, ladies and gentlemen, look at this. This is, me this is actual planet. Okay, we're starting to hit the atmosphere now. Let's just come down. Max safe speed is coming down. So we come rattling in. Just we dropped our speed right down and we just we can put a little bit of thrust on. Just to get through. 
not sure if this is wise practice. I've not actually entered the atmosphere of a planet in real life, so it's difficult to say. Now my altitude is 1,065. Alright, so let's just... Wait. What the good thing is, we're not coming down on the dark side. Uh, which is... Which is a good thing. speed, let's get a bit of speed up, see if we can head down a bit. Wow, oh. it's getting loud. It's getting very loud. I need to work on this heads-up display, it's very hard to see anything at all here. Steady on, steady on, steady on. Look at this. I'm actually coming down into this landscape. It's really quite amazing. It's very difficult, as it is in real life when you're flying a plane, to actually ascertain scale. Let's just drop the speed a little bit. Ourselves down to a nice one, two, two. There we are. Look, look at this. It's pulling up, pulling up, pulling up. Drop the speed right down here so we don't strike anything too sharply. Look at this. We seem to be quite low to the ground now. that say that that's down there? Is that, have I just done this so that I'm on a completely the wrong side of the planet? What we'll do is we'll slow right down. Very difficult to see that display. So I want to gauge how close to the ground I am. Let's just do so by doing this. This. Look at this, ladies and gents. Peeps and sheeps. What can we say? Look at this. Flying over Daymar. Like a sylvan angel. The angel of progress. Flying forwards for once. Still can't quite gauge how low I am to the ground, though. That is the thing. The other thing I don't know is which button it is to put my landing gear down. I think it's N on this settings. Alright, ladies and germs, I'm just going to switch over here. Look at this. Look at this. Atmosphere flight, feeling alright. That's quite a strange image. Looks like I've stuck my head through the windscreen. Like a dog on a day out. Rover, get your head back in! Ah, right, here we go, some altitude controls here. Let's get pick up a bit of speed, shall we? Let's keep it level. to make it to Bountiful Harvest Hydroponics before the end of the stream. 124 kilometers to go. Better pick up the pick up the pace, son. Gonna be here all night. Look at this landscape. Look at this. My God. I have to say, I am genuinely impressed with this. I really am. Let's see what we can do. A bit of. Bit of uh, Canyon running on the old freelancer. Whoops. I think we need to climb out of this hole. Bountiful Harvest Hydroponics is that way. Alright, so let's just climb up a bit.
that way. I must say... slightly like that. I cannot read that uh, thing. It's so noisy in there. Or in there. Or wherever I am. Can't read that out to 40, 50, 50, 60. Slight climb going on. I mean, I assume I'm heading the right way here. speed on. It's very odd, the feeling of, like, the steering is, is really gone, I must say. It's quite, quite tricksy. Just have a little, little look around here as we go by. Very nice. One day all of these switches will mean something. Just check with the old co-pilot. Oh, he's gone. No, he was never there. 100 kilometers to go, people. Picking up the pace now. We can go up to 272 according to this. Just need to over slightly. It's very, very responsive. Wow, incredible. The noise could drive you insane. There she is, the freelancer, battling through the elements, streaking across the desert. Like a caravan of Rasso being delivered to the largest trophy collection in the history of bowling, ladies and germs. There it is. The crash has occurred. Shall we submit a crash report? I think we shall. The noise ended suddenly. The mode has changed. The mode is one of quiet reflection as we contemplate the impossibility of getting to Damar. It says, look, thank you for your submission. <laughs> I submit to you. I submit to you. And I thank you for your gratitude for my submission. Right. Close and verify. Let's just verify, shall we? Shall we verify? I think we might as well verify. Well, ladies and germs, I have to say, it's, it's a strange old world. That we find ourselves in the world of Star Citizen, created by a mad sidestepping genius. But I mean, that's the closest I've got. I mean, I actually managed to land the last time I managed to land the Cutlass. Uh, not to great effect, but. And then it crashed shortly afterwards. So look, now the time is oh, it's coming up to 11 o'clock. I'm going to take a short break and I'm going to come back with another attempt, probably in about half an hour. So if you're if you're interested in this kind of nonsense, then please join me again in about half an hour. In the meantime, thank you so much for watching. This is Star Citizen 3.0 at its finest.